What's up, everybody? This is Alpha here. I'm going to do a review on a new episode of Nanatsu no Taizai, which is episode 20. Now, I let y'all know I did watch the raw version, and I watched the sub version at the same time. After the sub version came out, I decided to watch the raw version. And, you know, after watching the raw version, you know, as a manga reader, um, I decided to grab some screen snapshots, you know, and I hope to find the right, right one for this one, too. So, if anything else, I'd like to get started right away. Okay, at the beginning, we see two of that... Um, Noel this and Arthur Pendragon team up again. Team, I pre we see to it that Noel this talks to Arthur Pendragon a bit, and Noel this demands Hend Hendrickson to return Elizabeth to him. However, Hendrickson says, "Sorry, that's not going to happen on my watch." And then they clash head to head like, like one thousand times over. <laughs> and as for Gil Thunder, he puts Dreyfus down. To a safe spot, and Dr and he asked, "What what did you see when you were fighting Gother or something?" Drafia says, "A sin that I would never be able to escape from. That's for sure." And he decides not to tell him, and he asks him, "Can you leave me alone for a bit?" And Gil Thunder just left. <laughs> and the way I'm looking at it, I think I understand why Drafia's want to be alone. It, it's pretty obvious, but at the same time, yeah. So, in other cases. So after the uh, after a little small talk with Vivian, Gil Thunder arrives and takes on Meliodas, and this time Meliodas and Gil Thunder go head to head like full on, full on. It didn't, it doesn't look like it though, since Arthur Pendragon says they're not even going at full force at all. Even Hendrickson says that goes with the same with both of us, ain't that right, you know? And when Gil Thunder was doing all his techniques and moves, and Meliodas like um Meliodas is so he gets thrown up in the air. Um, Melody just stopped Gil Thunder's blade using his fingers with his demon power. Like he's just stat he's just like um it's just like um like this with just his fingers. He's just like standing there in total in like in total rage or something. Well that angry expression I mean. So yeah. Um what I really enjoy you know, like um yeah. After that there's a little after the fight between Gil Thunder and Meliodas etc. We see too that Bond is going somewhere. Even Gotha cannot sense Bond, that kind of sense Bond in other cases, you know? And we see to it that after a little um small after a little small scene about Bond, the the fight goes back to um Meliodas, Gil, Meliodas, Gil Thunder, Arthur Pendragon and Hendrickson, you know? Hendrickson does enchantment hellblaze to Injure Arthur Pen, Art to injure injure Arthur Pendragon. However, a certain person shows up and manages to, manages to get rid of it in no time. You know, and Arthur Pendragon continues his fight with Hendrickson. And there is some sort. There are some scenes about Gil Thunder and Melodis, like Melodis training Gil Thunder. You know, he's so negative at certain points, and he's all, and when Melodis has to go on another mission. In the backstory, you know, um, he Gil Thunder says, "Take me with you," etc. He doesn't, and he's all like, kind of upset and worried about something. But Gil Thunder gets hit by a Melodus in the head like many times. and says, "Calm down, will you? <laughs> I'll teach you a spell or something," you know. And therefore, he says a couple quotes that seems to be really serious about this. But the one quote that's always been on my mind ever since, and I'm pretty sure it's been on your guys's mind too. Boys and girls, I am stronger than any of the deadly si seven deadly sins, and I go like, "Yep, <laughs> that's how you say it." So after that, we see to it that the fight between Meliodas and Gil Thunder is really intense, and then Hendrickson comes in and tries to slash Meliodas, but he goes like, "Huh, you dodged that, didn't you?" And we see to it that Arthur Pendragon is like all beaten up and bloody on the face or something. He's like, "Sorry, man." <laughs> I couldn't be able to hold up. I could. I wish I could have held on a little longer. But Melody says, "Hey, don't worry about it, okay? That kind of thing." And Margaret is going on to is going on to the tower, work on the tower, you know. And we see to it that <coughs> Gil Thunder, on the other hand, is managing has a cut on his face, you know, and managed to do some damage to Melody. Well, not as much. And then Vivian was called upon to 
be part of the final fight, you know, as we're gonna kill Meliodas. While Vivian talks a little bit with Elizabeth and the King, she gets she teleports herself and they all like ganged up on him, you know. Gother, <clears throat> on the other hand, noti notices that Meliodas is taking on three people. Diane wants to go and help, including King. However, King cannot leave Diane by herself to his worry, you know. After that, we see to it that Meliodas is trying is activates another ability of his called Divine Slayer. He was gonna use it against um, Vivian's um, attack, Gil Thunders, and probably um, Hendrickson. However, he ends up seeing that Margaret is about to be attacked, and he uses that attack to destroy the to kill a creature, you know. And Merlin, on the other hand, goes over there and saves Margaret from falling. Well, I think she wanted to commit suicide, though I'm not really sure about that, you know. After she screamed out, "Gil Thunder, please stop!" you know that kind of thing. And one scene um, shows that Hendrickson was about to deal a final blow. However, after the little sh after the little backstory of Melia saying, "I am stronger than any of the deadly sins," we see to it that Guilt Thunder cuts off Hendrickson's arm, and he goes like, and Hendrickson gets upset and says, "You traitor! What you, what are you doing?" However, Guilt Thunder tells him, "I was never on your side to begin with," and he thanks Melia this for saving him from the curse that he's been on to him, that's been on him for a long, long time. And then, <clears throat> then he beats up Hendrickson like no tomorrow and stabs him with the sword and blows him away. I go like, ooh, that's gotta hurt now, boy. <laughs> that's for sure. And then we see to it that Margaret is alive and hugs Gil Thunder, seeing that he's come back to his senses. And Vivian's like, yo, what, what's going on here? And then Melody says, I knew there was a spell on Gil Thunder from the very start, so don't be so. Yeah, I managed to release him from it, etc. After a little short meeting between them, you know. So I'm going, oh, okay. yeah. that's pretty cool. In other cases, and for the meantime, we see to it that our buddy, that Vivian tries to do, tries to kill him by using some kind of spell. However, this person managed managed to decapitate it like no tomorrow, and says. You know, you should control. You should really control your emotions, especially when you're in, in terms of fighting, my disciple. And the moment she saw the tattoo on her neck, they, she goes like, "No, it can't be." And Merlin just is like, "I never thought you would be with Arthur Pendragon, Merlin, sin of, sin of gluttony. I think it's a sin of gluttony. I believe. Yeah, sin of gluttony. Yeah." Hopefully I'm right on this. Please forgive me if I get it wrong or something. After that, it ends there. And after the credits, we see to it that Hawk is trying to look for Meredith and the other sins, King, Diane, Bond, and Gother. And then he will. And then go. And then Hawk ends up realizing someone's coming, but it was actually Bond. And he and and he just looks in the looks at the horn like no a little like no tomorrow. And there's an episode preview, and it looks like hell is going to be spawned loose. That's for sure. Overall, I will say this: I am kind of upset that they have to that they change the sequencing a bit. It is no, I'm really upset about this. You know, I'm not gonna say anything until the next episode. You know, they kind of change the sequencing a bit, which is to my upset, which is to my agitation or to my upsetness. But that's fine too, as long as they show that scene next episode. That's all that matters because that's how important it was. <laughs> because that scene is really, really supposed to bring in. That scene had better be shown up in there, cause I'm not playing. That thing is supposed that thing is supposed to play a major role at, at certain cases, you know. Those of you who read the manga will know what I'm talking about, but those of you just brand new anime watches, I can't tell you anything for the meantime. So you gotta be patient with me until next week, all right? So I'll see y'all till then. I'm off of zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys in my next video in about like 30 or 40 minutes or so. Peace out. Bye bye.